Belgium's golden generation, a star-studded squad with plenty of firepower and individual talent. But can they turn their club's successes into national glory? <laughs> their last big success came in the 1986 World Cup, reaching the semis, so hopes now weigh heavy on the shoulders of these players. To Bees, a small town 30 kilometers from the capital, Brussels. Final preparations are underway in earnest before the squad heads off to Russia. No, yeah, everybody talk about us, uh, about Golden Generation uh, before, but we, I think we were maybe too young and we didn't have the experience. Uh, the last chance, yeah, after that I will be 33, <laughs> so... I don't know, but uh, I will play the World Cup. We will play the World Cup like it's the last one. Yeah. Uh, nations like uh, Argentina, Spain, Germany, France, uh, Brazil, probably they got a psychological edge to any other nation in the World Cup. But that doesn't mean anything else. Uh, doesn't give you World Cups. They got no respect for generations from the past. It's about what we can achieve and that's where the work is, how good we can be on the pitch. Some question how good Belgium can be after Marcinez cut 30-year-old Roman midfielder Raja Nangolin from his World Cup squad. The shock omission raised some eyebrows. I understand the, the reaction, I accept the reaction, I respect the reaction, but I think that we're not here to make popular decisions, we're not here just to make easy decisions, that it would have been very easy for me to accumulate names. Over to the last round of friendly matches. Fans gather to see their team play Costa Rica but mixed feelings all around over their team's chances as the World Cup approaches. On a une bonne équipe, mais on n'est pas encore prêt pour, euh, pour aller au bout dans une, une grande compétition. On risque de tomber sur une grosse équipe en quart de finale, c'est-à-dire Brésil ou Allemagne. Ça, ça va être compliqué, je pense. Belgium is now cruising to victory in this friendly match against Costa Rica and when they get to the World Cup. Predictions say that they have a 71% chance of reaching the knockout stage, but only a 4% chance of actually lifting the cup. But that's the thing about the beautiful game. He who dares wins. My name's Heidi, CGTN, Brussels.